In these videos, I use chemicals that can cause burns and respiratory problems. If you are to replicate any of the experiments or procedures shown in my videos, please do so in a fume hood or outside, and please wear suitable gloves when handling acids. Hello everyone and welcome to today's gold recovery video. In today's video, I will be recovering the gold from the bottom of my temporary waste container. This container holds the gold carried over from the washes and hydrochloric acid boils that I do to gold powder after it is recovered. Over the past two years, every time I have washed gold powder, I've poured the liquid out into this tub. Small particles get carried over with every wash. The fine particles settle at the bottom, and when the container is full, the liquid gets siphoned into the stock pot. The gold adds up over time, and today, I'll see how much gold has collected in two years worth of washes. The powder is so fine it's suspended in the water, and I need a bigger beaker. Leave that to settle for a couple of hours. Eight hours later. After allowing the gold dust to settle, I decanted the solution into the flask at the back of the counter, and I've set up the hot plate to do a quick hydrochloric acid boil. This is to try to remove any contamination. After allowing it to cool, you'll notice the hydrochloric acid is similar in appearance to tea. This could be trace amounts of platinum. Platinum easily dissolves in hot hydrochloric acid when it is in a fine powder form. I'm now going to add some more hydrochloric acid and also a teaspoon of potassium nitrate to get this gold dissolved. This won't take long at all. with everything in solution. It's time for a quick stannous chloride test. And it looks as if there is gold, plus some trace amounts of platinum and palladium. The orange stain shows platinum, and the light green stain shows palladium. Here, I've added some cold water to precipitate any silver chloride that may be present. This helps to cool the solution before filtering. The filtrate is coming through a little cloudy, 
so I'll filter the solution a second time through the same filter to clean it up. The second filtration is coming through much clearer. Okay, time for the precipitation. Beautiful. I'll allow that to settle and get it weighed in the morning. One point three grams isn't bad. You wouldn't think so much would be carried over with washes. I'll add it to all my powder for the year, and I think my next video will be a full cleanup of this year's gold, and I'll get it melted into a nice shiny button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.